Hi, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. And before we get started, I would like to suggest that you sign up for my blog. You'll get this free ebook. Just put your name and your email, your best email address there, and you'll receive my videos and blog posts directly into your email inbox, uh, maybe about once every week or so. Okay, let's move on. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crop and resize images. Crop basically means to cut. Um, okay, here's a blog I designed called clarekelway.com, which is really good for people that are involved in network marketing and in health and wellness. She's got some great information and products and stuff. Okay, so here's the slider, and if I click down here, it brings me to the different images. Okay, now let's just say this image is right here is 940 pixels wide and 375 pixels high and that's the size of the image that I need for this slider now the problem of course is that most images are not sized accordingly so what you want to do is take a bigger image and resize it and make it smaller so you maintain the image quality if you take a smaller image and drag it and expand it you distort the image it becomes grainy and you lose picture quality so what I'm going to show you in this here's just the rest of the blog it's not really relevant I just wanted to show it to you since I created it but anyways what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial is how to resize and crop images using a quick free easy image editing program called paint.net so here's the image that we're going to crop and resize this is six this is used for wallpaper on desktops this is 1600 pixels wide and I think it's 1200 pixels tall way too big we need to shrink it down and cut or crop it a little bit the program we're going to use is called paint.net let me click the home button okay it's called paint.net here's the address you can leave the index on there or or not just type in get paint.net don't go to paint.net because that's a paint company and that website has absolutely nothing to do with this software tool here okay so you're at paint.net you want to click on the download button once again don't get fooled by this ad and this link here doesn't seem to be appropriate read right here where it says if you would like to install paint.net please use one of the download buttons below and I believe that would be this one or this one. You can play around with it. I guess there's some documentation here. Okay, so I've already downloaded it, so let's move on and actually crop and resize the image. Okay, we're going to go to my desktop. There's the paint.net icon. Click on that, open it. Very simple. I'm going to click here to open, or you can do file open. There's the image. Now, when I mouse over, you can see it's 1600 pixels wide, 1200 tall, way too big. So I click on that once there. Click on open. Now, you can resize images first and then crop them, or crop them and then resize them. Play around with it and see what works best for you. I'm going to resize this one first. So, um, anyways, down here you can see the size of it right there 1600 by 1200. So what I'm going to do is go to image, I'm going to go to resize, make sure that you click that maintain aspect ratio, that's a fancy word for saying that you're going to keep the height and width proportional so that if you change the width you will not distort the image, it will keep it proportional um, so it doesn't get distorted and look horrible. Okay, it's 1600 pixels wide, we want it 940 pixels wide, just type in 940, make sure that maintain aspect ratio checkbox is checked, it automatically resized the height, it was 1200, it's now 705, click OK. Now it doesn't look like anything has changed, but if you look down here, we can now see that it's 940 by 705. Okay, now I'm going to crop it. What you want to do is take this rectangle tool here, just click on it, go to the edge, click and drag, and there it is. Um, if you look in the middle right there, it says 940 by 444, so you have some idea what you're doing. I'm going to leave this okay. Now, that's a little big. We want 940 by 375, so I'm going to click on this white, not the black arrow, but the white one right here and I'm just going to drag the bottom up a little bit see how it says 
408. Okay, let me drag that there. That's 399, and I'm going to drag this one down a little bit. Okay, it's 376. If it's a little bit bigger, that's okay. Now, I've done that. Now, to actually crop it, I go here, Crop Selection, click on that. And we're done with that, so I'm just going to save it. I'm going to give it a new name. Don't save the image as the same name as the old file because you may want to revert to that file to play around with it. Okay, so I, I'm going to call this, excuse me, 3 and just a dash 3. Click Save. It wants me to know, it's asking me what image quality. You can usually go down to, I think, 80 to 85 without distorting um, or making the image grainy or affecting image quality is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, I'm just going to leave it at 100. Click OK. We just saved it. We're done, and that's pretty much all there is to it. If you liked it, please leave a comment on Facebook or my blog. Take care and have a great day.